to my doorstep and ask me to do something, then you have to give that that aspect hmm. of it as well. And if if that machine, which what is it exactly? It's called Papimi. Okay. And it's basically a pulse magnetic uh, field uh, device, hmm. and it delivers an enormous amount of current in a very short period of time, hmm. and it it allows the cell door to open up, which in medicine they call the sodium potassium pump. And once that happens, life begins. Interesting. If that machine is anything to go by, which obviously I I, I went to uh, Navid and we experienced that. I rather experienced that. It's like it makes you feel as if you are in an underworld because you've never, you know, you go to a doctor and I, I was telling you about my yes. ankle and all yes. that. I told you my ailments. Um, you expect to have an X-ray done and the pills and what not, but this was. Totally different. I mean, some energy coming out, and right. it was quite interesting. So, what has happened is that, and all the areas that I used it on your on yourself, for example, I uh, that area was also oxygenated. So, in other words, for an hour and a half at my at my um, clinic would give you like a five miles run hmm. without having to lift a finger. So, although the machine makes a horrendous noise, and you would imagine that nobody could relax, but most people go to sleep. While it is happening, because yeah. you're getting oxygenated, true, true, true. and you feel very relieved and very, very, very relaxed. So mm. you come with pain, and you end up sort of sleeping on my couch. Exactly. Uh, well, so I didn't, but that is how <laughs> it goes. Okay, now uh, this is interesting, and the, a bigger version of it, like it was the same thing, yeah. It's that the same we went principle, yeah. Because I went to Navid yesterday, and uh, he, I, I entered, and we sat, and we had, we were just about to, you know, start talking, and I wanted to know more about this, and he asked me to place my hands on a big board, uh, which had a lot of lines and stuff, something like. Something like this, yeah. Correct. If I'm correct. Yes. And you told me that there were magnets under it, and there how there was large magnets in there with some herbs inside of it, and around the uh, periphery of it were the thing called I Ching or I Ching. Hmm. There's 64 of those, and there's very interesting history about those I Ching. Actually, in the 17th century, they took this, uh, the, these lines and dashes to uh, France, and they discovered the binary code embedded in it. If it wasn't for the binary code, we wouldn't have calculus or the knowledge of our DNA today. So these are very old and very tried and tested methods uh, that use energetic uh, information hmm. or formulas that are available to us, but most of us don't realize it. Hmm. And uh, I've been. And the video also told me when I was uh, when I had placed my hands on it. By the way, we are going to be. These are ca called trauma cards. Yeah. They're called trauma. So cards. we are going to be giving out five of these, and this is a very precious thing. Of course, Navid is going to explain how it is used, but we'll talk about that later. You also told me uh, about how uh, you know placing your hands on it and uh, for a while, and how the first ten years of trauma are. Yes. Uh, how, tell me about so that. That was interesting. What it is is that it mathematically using higher mathematics, biology, and physics, it it removes the first ten years of trauma, and that is like uh, you know all the mishaps that we've had uh, during our first ten years. They create as like a trauma central station. And the more we've had, the more bogies there are in there. Hmm. So if today we have a trauma, someone close to us passes away, and we completely sort of fall apart, it's because that present uh, situation has piggybacked on the la on the first ten years of the trauma, and we feel completely lost and hmm. you know like we the can't straw that broke the camel's back correct, kind of correct. situation. In this process, what happens is it goes and mathematically removes that trauma central station. So although you may have a death in the family today. We may feel sad and bad, but we then get up and get going. Mm. This allows us to do that and not piggyback and create such a huge amount of uh, emotional drainage that takes place. According to that, it also dissolves. So you get some kind of energy from placing. Some do, some don't. It doesn't matter. It's like a placing your hand on a piece of bat on a battery. Mm. The moment you do that, it connects you. And we have big uh, energy centers at the at the, at the center of our palm, and so this thing. Uh, goes into your etheric body, your non-physical body, okay. and starts to function. Uh, right. And it's not something that uh, most people can understand. It's called radionics, or also called pararadiational science. Uh, it then removes, the, uh, also removes the wrong patterns that we've developed, like uh, like being afraid of dogs. Mm, and it yes. consumes you. You, you. You're 60 years old, and you're still, you know, scared of dogs. Mm, and you wouldn't enter a place where not there are dogs all. or something. And it really is quite a uh, damper on your life, because mm. you enter homes when you're looking, you're trying to listen to if there's any dog there or not, and you don't get out of your car. But really, uh, it uh, almost in all cases it absolves you of that 
those mm. patterns that we've developed in the first 10 years. And you're free to walk the streets without having to be, you know, afraid. afraid. And that, can, again, it's all about energy. It sounds very interesting, I must say. Um, I also, you know, there's so much information that I want to cram in the next, uh, you know, 10 or so minutes. Uh, now, you were also talking about spices, because when we were discussing these trauma right. cards, uh, you said that there is... They, they are, they are uh, inside there, there's uh, oregano okay. and, and paprika. All right. And so, so paprika, when you're using paprika, it, it actually starts to engage your, your body. It's, it sort of connects with your body. And uh, they use various, various methods in it. They use metals and herbs and elements. Hmm. And this so one this just, is a loaded card. This, this is, is not just card. a card. No. It com comes with a lot of promise, uh, I would it say. It certainly do. I've used it uh, extensively in Iran as well as Pakistan and elsewhere hmm. in the areas of disaster. Please do tell me, uh, tell us rather, because you told me about how you worked in 2005 during the earthquake and how right. uh, these uh, were very helpful at that they time. They certainly are. They, they are uh, someone, this is, I used them in Iran, uh, myself, in the 2002 earthquake. And then in the PIMS hospital during the earthquake, I, I used it there. Where a child was not sleeping, a child who wasn't eating, a child who wasn't uh, um, talking, they were all in every, each case, they were able to get, get, get over it in the next 15 minutes. So I would just place the cards on their bodies, walk away, come back, collect the cards, and bingo, you know, it was like magic. They were fine. They were fine. So I must have been there for over two months uh, in the children's section with Dr. Tabish. Now this is interesting, Rabid. It makes sense from what you tell me. And of course, you do extensive research on your own as well, as you should do with any doctor too. You should do your own research as well. Why isn't this method or energy healing uh, very, um, I would not say popular. I'm sure it becomes popular when people do get to know about it, but not a lot of people know about it. Why is that? Uh, I, 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 I cannot help but say that I guess it cuts against the uh, profitability of the pharmaceutical companies because here when you heal someone uh, they get healed for good mm. it's not like you have when you heal them for cancer they, they, there is no cancer after that mm. there is no HIV or malaria any of these things and so there is a with energy healing with energy even healing, HIV even HIV yes uh, because that is one uh, you know they say that there is absolutely no cure for HIV there is there is uh, there's a fact is that you know when we have energy we are able to get up in the morning and do things in a simple level. When a child is not an energy, they cry. So when you have the energy, the body has an innate ability to heal itself. Actually, nobody heals you. The body heals itself. The bone mends itself. So it's just putting the right body, right, right nutrients into your body mm. and the energy, the body will heal against any odds. Against any odds. So and against any kind of ailment. Against any, because we are, Everything is made of energy since you talk about it. So, you know, I've done 80 horses in California. Treated? Treated them, yes, personally. So it's like humans, animals, plants, plants, yes. plants as well? Certainly. Certainly. Wow. That, this is so interesting. I would really go, like to go uh, at length with it, but we have so many things. Now, you were also telling me about, uh, you know, appetite and losing weight as well. Now, how, how does that work uh, out? This was a, it's a very interesting thing. Actually, this was reintroduced into the, into the, into the world by uh, Kevin Trudeau about six years back. And he wrote a book called Na The Weight Loss They Don't Want You to Know About. And he picked up this information that was lying sort of dormant for several years, for tons of years mm. that was started by Dr. Simeons in, in, in Vienna. And after 30 years of experimentation, Dr. Simeons came up with this uh, brilliant uh, uh, method of weight loss. And he said, no matter what it is, it's the hypothalamus that, that controls your weight. The brain? It's the left, on the left side of the brain, there's an area called the hypothalamus. Mm. And that's where it controls your weight. So. He, he, after the experimentation, he realized that when a pregnant woman gets pregnant, she has, a, has, has an enzyme that comes in, inside her body that opens up the fixed fat deposit cells. Okay. So that the child can get the nutrition it needs and also recalibrates the hypothalamus saying you're not hungry. Okay. So in the same token, he's taken a very small amount of the same HCG, it's, it's called, and 
Uh, they, they, you can take it through an, a short uh, injection or I have it through a homeopathic version. And once you take it in, it suppresses your appetite. And in, in that process, is, it tells your hypothalamus you're not hungry. Oh, and the good. fixed fat deposit cells that are, you know, on our arms and our, you know, wherever, hmm. uh, they dissolve. Hmm. So you can lose anything from one to two pounds a day. Men usually use two pounds and women lose a pound or thereabouts. Yeah, thank you very much. You had uh, to say that and burst the bubble. <laughs> I, like me, I was hoping, you know, the women would be so excited by I this I wish it was thing. true the other way around. <laughs> it, my business would be much better off. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, since we are short on time, let me please uh, tell our viewers that you can, uh, you know, uh, get a tumor, trauma card rather, trauma card. All you have to do is in this new thing that we started, you have to write your name and your address and send it on our email address and we'll do that, you know, uh, picking the uh, the lucky ones and uh, five of these, so five of you could be winners of this. And they have the instructions of how to use it in case you're wondering how would we use it. They have the instructions here in Urdu. Yes, yeah. yeah. So this, these are the instructions and you can use them and you can, um, yeah, take some benefit from it. Navid, thank you very much for coming here. I wish we had more time to get really into it, but this is all we have. We'll call you again, inshallah. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Great. We are going to take a short break. Again, write to us your name and your address to win one of these trauma cards, and we'll do that lucky draw on uh, Friday. Yeah, I'm going to give you so many days. We are going to take a very short break now. enjoyed our little segment there and I hope you're going to write to us to win one of these uh, trauma cards here we have absolutely no time so I'm going to get right into it we have the quote for you and you are going to it's simple very simple you're going to understand it and I hope you are going to like it as well it's actually a Chinese proverb on our screen now all right I can go ahead with it and then you can see it on the screen. Uh, this one goes, one who asks a question is a fool for five minutes. One who does not ask a question remains a fool forever. So very simplistically, if you take it for all the students out there, if you are in class, whatever, ask away, ask as many questions as you want and be done with it. It's fine. If you don't ask, you'll never know. Okay. Uh, word of the day, again, uh, interesting word, a very kind of a longish word, but if you pick it up, you, you, you know, you get the hang of it, you'll, you'll interesting. Here? Yeah? Okay. All right. <laughs> Please roll drums now. And uh, the word of the day is ostentatious. Yes, that is the word, ostentatious, and it means characterized by or given to pretentious or conspicuous show in an attempt to impress others or intended to attract notice. I have an example sentence for you. The ostentatious peacock proudly showed off his feathers and chest to the other peacocks. I think we must have all witnessed something like this as well. Anyway, we are going to put up the word on a uh, page on Facebook. Now many expectant parents prefer to be surprised by the gender of their unborn baby waiting until the delivery to learn if the new offspring is a boy or a girl and others like to know you know in advance if the bump is a male or female things however are likely to change for the latter lot according to a new ruling in Europe hospitals could be barred from telling expectant mothers the sex of their unborn baby yes and this is intended to prevent the practice of selective abortions and more commonly associated with cultures that prize male offsprings most of course kind of like ours now i wonder how many of you would like a similar proposal for pakistan yeah i thought you know i'm going to ask you and put it up for a vote of sorts that if people out there who are uh, planning to have a baby would like to know uh, beforehand the sex of the child and i think that would be at least my vote would go there so tell me what you guys think and in the meantime, I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care. See you today.